so for the tcs coding round this is not like a general coding round like uh, questions and solutions it is altogether different from c programming you must prepare coding section of tcs nqt very well to score tcs nqt test the languages that can use in this test are c c++ java programming and perl the rules for tcs coding round section 2021 is it has 10 attempts we can compile only 10 times we must start our code from the scratch the coding platform is divided into two one for writing the code and another for output we should write the whole program we must only print exact output the output must not be reframed by extra words if there is any error the error will be shown in the output dialog box the error are clearly mentioned if there is no error a message like compile successful will be printed along with they will mention four test cases are passed or failed they are indicate like private and public test cases they have not mentioned what is the test case which is difficult to understand don't compile again and again since compiler takes 25 seconds and each time you compile 25 seconds will become lesser in the time you have to code in tcs placement paper programming that's all about this let's see the question paper and the first question here a scenario is given and you need to crack this scenario and write a program for this let's see the scenario there is a jar full of candies for sale at a mall counter jar has the capacity n that is jar can contain maximum n candies when jar is full at any point of time jar can have m number of candies where m is less than or equals to n candies are served to the customer jar is never remain empty as when last k candies are left jar is refilled with new candies in such a way that jar get full write a code to implement above scenario display jar at counter with available number of candies input should be the number of candies one customer can order at a point of time update the jar after each purchase and display jar at counter this is a very simple program we need to write here we need to display the jar at the counter with available number of candies the input should be the number of candies of one customer can order at a point and we should update the jar after each purchase and display jar at counter so the output should give number of candies sold and num updated number of candies in jar if input is more than the candies in jar return invalid input for this given n is equal to 10 where n is number of candies available and k is equals to or less than 5 where k is the number of minimum candies that must be inside jar ever so let's see two example for this and the example one is suppose the input value is 3 the output value must be the number of candies sold must be 3 and the number of candies available must 7 and for example 3 n is equals to 10 k is less than is equal to 5 if the input value is 0 the output must be and input value and candy candies left in the jar must be 10 so let's see a c program for this and the c program follows as n is equal to 10 k is equal to 5 int number is taken as a variable where scanf we should take the value of number if number is less than or equals to 1 and number is less than or equals to 10 then print the number of candies sold and print the number of candies left else print invalid input and number of candies left this is the simple c program we can see the program for the same in c that is hash include iostream.h using namespace std int n is equals to 10 and k is equals to 5 and remaining the same as the c language program we can write this same program in the java also that is import java.util.scanner that is the uh, headers and class main in the main class public static void main string of r's int n is equal to 10 k is equal to 5 int number scanner sc is equal to new scanners system dot in number is equal to sc dot next int if number is less than 1 and number is less than 5 then system then print a number of candies sold and print the number of candies left else print invalid input and the number of candies left and the same program for python is given as total number of candies is equal to 10 number of candies is equal to int input in give the input of number of candies if number of candies is range in between 1 to 6 then print number of candies sold that is number of candies and print number of candies left else in print invalid input and print the number of candies left so there are so we have seen 
the four different ways to write the same program in C, C++, Java, and Python. In this section, we just need to understand the scenario given and write the code. We are going to see one more example for this section. And the another example we are going to see here, we need to write a program to check whether a given year is leap year or not. And there is an explanation is given for this. That is, to check whether a year is leap or not, we have to follow these three steps. Step one, we first divide the year by four. If it is not divisible by four, then it is not a leap year. If it is divided by four, leaving the remainder zero, then we need to go for second step. We divide the year by 100. If it is divisible by 100, then it is a leap year. If it is not divisible by 100, leaving the remainder zero, then we need to go for third step. We divide the year by 400. If, if it is divisible, if it is not divisible by 400, then it is a leap year. If it is not divisible by 400, leaving the remainder zero, then it is not a leap year. We are going to check a C program for this. And let's see the C program for this. Hash include stdyo.h int leap prog int year. Checking divisibility by 4. If year percentile 4 is equal to 0, then we need to check the divisibility by 100. If year percentile 100 is equal to equal to 0, then we need to check the divisibility by 400. If year percentile 400 is equal to equal to 0, then print the year entered happened to be a leap year. Else, it is surely not a leap year. Else, the year entered happens to be a leap year. Else, it is surely not a leap year. Return 0. Then the main function int, int input year and value. Printf enter the year that you want to check. Enter the year to check. Then give the int year scan. Scan up percentile at the rate of input year. And variable is equals to VL is equals to leap prog input year return zero. This is the simple program to check whether the given year is leap year or not. That's all about the TCS and QT question paper. And if you find this video useful, then please do like, share, and subscribe my channel for regular job updates and regular interview activities. That's all for today. Thank you so much.